Red Fox. Just the name evokes laughter, tinged with a hint of scandal. He was bold, brash, and unapologetically himself. His comedy pushed boundaries, challenged conventions, and left audiences gasping for air between fits of laughter. Fox was more than a comedian. He was a cultural force. He redefined black comedy, paving the way for generations of comics who dared to be different. His legacy is complex, marked by both immense success and personal struggles. He tackled taboo subjects with a wink and a smile, his raspy voice delivering punchlines that could make even the most seasoned clubgoers blush. His routines weren't just jokes, they were social commentary, often veiled in outrageous characters and situations. He spoke to the human condition, exposing the hypocrisy and absurdity of life with a sharp wit and an even sharper tongue. John Elroy Sanford, the man who would become Red Fox, was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1922. Life was tough. The Great Depression cast a long shadow, and Fox's childhood was marked by poverty and hardship. He found solace in the church, where he honed his comedic timing by mimicking the preachers. Driven by a desire for a better life, Fox dropped out of high school and moved to Chicago. He started small, performing on street corners and in nightclubs. He joined forces with another aspiring performer, Malcolm Little, who would later gain fame as Malcolm X. Together they formed a washboard duo, honing their comedic timing and stage presence. Fox paid his dues, touring with various troops and refining his act. The Chitlin Circuit, a network of clubs catering to black audiences, became Fox's proving ground. These venues, scattered across the segregated South and Midwest, provided a space for black performers to showcase their talents. Fox thrived in this environment. His raucous humor, steeped in the black experience, resonated deeply with audiences. Word of Fox's comedic genius spread. He became a headliner, drawing huge crowds eager to see his energetic performances. His reputation as a fearless and hilarious performer grew with each passing show. He was raw, he was real, and he was unapologetically black. He yearned for mainstream success, to break free from the confines of segregated entertainment venues. His big break came in the 1960s with a series of comedy albums. Section 4. Behind the Laughs Family Finances and Fracas while Red Fox's career soared, his personal life was often tumultuous. He was married four times, and his relationships were marked by both love and conflict. He had a complicated relationship with money. Despite earning millions, he struggled to manage his finances, often finding himself in debt. Fox's generosity was legendary. He was known for his kindness and willingness to help others, often giving away money to friends, family, and strangers in need. Behind the scenes, Fox was known for his fiery temper. He clashed with club owners, network executives, and even fellow performers. Section 5 Triumph and Turmoil Tax Troubles and TV Triumphs In 1976, Red Fox achieved mainstream success with the groundbreaking sitcom Sanford and Son. The show, loosely based on a British sitcom, centered around Fred Sanford, a grumpy but lovable junk dealer trying to make ends meet in Watts, Los Angeles. Fox's portrayal of Fred Sanford was iconic. The character, with his signature catchphrase, Elizabeth, I'm coming to join you, became a household name. Sanford and Son was a rating smash, breaking down racial barriers and becoming one of the most popular shows on television. The show's success made Fox a bona fide star, but his financial troubles continued to plague him. In a cruel twist of fate, at the height of his fame, Fox faced a major setback, a highly publicized battle with the Internal Revenue Service over unpaid taxes. The IRS seized his assets, including his beloved home and possessions, leaving him financially devastated. Despite the setback, Fox continued to work, starring in several short-lived sitcoms. Section 6, Red Fox's Lasting Impact a comic rebel with a cause. Red Fox died of a heart attack in 1991 at the age of 68. His death sent shockwaves through the entertainment world. 
He left behind a complex legacy, one marked by both triumph and tragedy. Fox was a comedic pioneer. He broke down racial barriers in entertainment, paving the way for generations of black comedians. He challenged societal norms with his raunchy humor, forcing audiences to confront uncomfortable truths about race, class, and sexuality. Despite his flaws, Red Fox's impact on comedy and culture is undeniable. His legacy continues to inspire, reminding us to embrace our individuality, challenge conventions, and never be afraid to laugh at life's absurdities.